This week on Slash Group, Derek and Jordan talk about games and stuff in game news. That's right. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Um, this is Derek. That was Jordan. Hello. We're here. We're here on the podcast, the the slash the, the slash group podcast, and uh, this week we're going to talk about a couple a couple handfuls of things. Um, jumping right into it, the first thing that uh, I want to chit chat about. And I know Jordan won't have the most input on it, uh, which is why I want to get it out of the way. Is uh, Nintendo just had a direct um, yesterday? They uh, went over quite a quite a bit of stuff. They showed more info on Mario Odyssey, which is still looking like a game. Uh, Mario <laughs> has nipples. He has nipples. Freaking out! Yeah, he has nipples. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> he has nipples, and everyone was like, "Wait, why doesn't he have a shit ton of chest hair?" I always imagined him with a ton of chest hair. <laughs> um. Oh wait, can I just? I do have one. Th- I don't. I did not watch the direct, so I don't have any information on that. But I did see on the internet not too long ago. Is it confirmed? Have they retconned? Mario is not a plumber anymore. Yeah, so what they the updated they updated like the Mario biography on their website and it says like a long time ago he was a plumber or something like that. So So he just gave that up, yeah. huh? Just gave up his day job? Yeah, I mean Wow. Jeez, Mario. Yeah. Um What kind of example so are you setting for you kids? Can only- you can only uh, <laughs> save the world and plumb plumb so many toilets at guess, the same time. Like, well, right. at, at some at some point, one's gonna overtake the other. So I have a feeling <laughs> adventuring is more fun than cleaning shit. There so. has not been a Mario Plumber game for quite some time. It's true. Ever. When's the last time uh, Mario spent you know three hours uh, with a plunger in hand? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that was something They showed Mario Odyssey off a bit Which was cool um, They showed off Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Which I'm super excited about um, It's looking pretty good And they announced um, it, Now that's a, a series uh, that um, How many is in that series? Because that's like Xenoblade three. Chronicles is like the so, Yeah, so Xenoblade Chronicles one? No, Xenoblade Chronicles was the first one Okay And it was on the Wii And it like didn't initially get released here in the states, and then they released it as a GameStop exclusive. Um, hmm. Yeah, and it kind of got like a cult following. And then on the Wii U, they released um, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which was not a direct sequel. It was like another story or... in the Xenoblade universe. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a direct sequel, obviously. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they do with it. Um, they also <laughs> announced for that they announced a collector's edition, which I've talked about collector's edition in the past, where You'd I love don't them. get them. I don't buy them. <laughs> um, and the one time I did, I got super burned on it. So I'm like Destiny torn because, collection? Characters? Yeah, no, no, not the Destiny. It was uh, No did. Man's Sky collector's edition. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, even oh. worse. I would have preferred the Destiny one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, well, honestly, I got rid of that. I what did I yeah. keep? I felt like I kept one thing from it. From the Destiny mm, thing. Yeah, I think I kept like the map or something. Like everything mm. else. Mo- I mean, most of the stuff was in-game items, anyways. Like, yeah, that's the thing with a lot of collector's editions now. Is like they're like collector's edition includes lots of DLC stuff inside the game yeah. and not actual physical yeah. stuff. Because that used to be the, more so- of a thing before. Um, yeah, you'd get, like, statues or, like, some, in this case, something. so in the, in the Xenoblade Chronicle case, you get um, the, a steelbook version of the case, or okay. a, a nicer version of the case for the game. You get um, a 220-page art book, which is, like, a full-on art book. That's pretty big. It's hardcover. And you get the CD, the music uh, soundtrack, and then you get something else. I can't remember exactly what it what it was but it's quite a bit um i don't know the price i haven't looked for the price yet i don't think they announced a price but that's coming december 1st which is interesting because that means it's a they're kind of pushing it for a holiday release oh god 
that was loud. I don't. Oh, there's <laughs> actually construction going on like on my street. So that's better than the last house. <laughs> uh, one one noise in a in a uh, podcast isn't bad. Anyway, so they did, they announced that they showed that off. Um, they showed off. I mean, not really show it off. They announced Metro? that Skyrim has a release oh. date, blah, blah, blah. They announced that um, Doom and Wolfenstein 2 are coming to the Switch. Interesting. Which is interesting, yeah. Nintendo. I don't know how well they're going to run. <laughs> oh, oh yes, yeah. there's that. And then, I don't yeah. know, Nintendo's never really been one for the more yeah. mature, nitty-gritty shooter types. Um, yeah, so that's interesting. It's kind of like the first real gory games to come to the Switch. Um, Kirby, the Kirby Switch game, got yeah. a title and a release. I, I was going to say, the they, I can't they didn't say a title for that yet, right? Uh, Kirby Star Allies is what it's called. Hmm. And I don't, I'm like, I'm indifferent. So it looks pretty much just like, if you've played any of like the, like, um, Yoshi's Epic Yarn or the Kirby, the Clay Kirby game. It looks like very, very similar game. Wool- oh, I know, yeah, Side Yoshi, scrolling. Yoshi's Woolly World, right? Was yeah, there another yeah. one what, in what that? So it's it? supposed to be like a... Remember. The, wo- the Woolly World. Yeah, it was yeah. like wool. That one. Yep. So it looks very similar play style to those, which... Uh, cool. I don't know. We'll see. I'll. That's definitely one I'm not going to get right away. I'll wait for reviews and see if it's worth it, but... Kirby games have so been... That. I feel like they've been... They're like fun uh, co-op games. Yeah. Um, that's the one thing, I'm is it really... is multiplayer, so... Okay. Um... But I actually, I actually really liked um, the Rob. I forget what it's called now. Robo Planet Kirby Robo Planet. It was a 3DS title. It was pretty fun. Um, it reminded me of older Kirby games. But yeah, so they they showed off that, which um, cool. I suppose they showed off the 3DS Kirby Battle Royale game, which I don't give two shits about. Um, they showed off. Oh the, oh um, I have a question because uh, oh, I also yeah. saw a question tri- away. A trailer um, not too long ago, and I know it's for the Switch, I believe. It's a brawl esque game, but it's like using third party, like indie fighter type people. So, like one of the oh. ones that I saw was uh, Hyper Light Drifter is going to be a character in it, oh, and it's like yeah, 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 a brawl like yeah. game. What is up with that? Do you know I don't any details know what with that? That is, I saw I saw like one trailer from it a couple weeks ago. And like I don't a, remember the name of it. Like a Super Smash um, Bros. type clone, like yeah, I can't all sorts of different characters. Called. And uh, interesting, interesting. Very different. Um, yeah, that's. I wish I could remember the name of it. If you can find it, we'll definitely bring it back, back up. But um, they also announced um, a Pokeball themed new 2DS XL, which cool. Like, it makes me want to get it, because I, I am a sucker for themed Game Boys, but sigh, I'm not spending $150 on my fourth iteration of a 3DS, <laughs> so... What? Why sorry, not? Sorry, Nintendo. I know, right? As, as much as... I wouldn't even be able to get anyway. Like, in all fairness, those are going to go up and be sold out in 25 seconds, so... I That's what I, I really... I, I talked with uh, my girlfriend... I talked with Ashley about that, that... Um, yeah. You know, oh, oh man, you know, how come... Because she was like, how come they don't have any Switches in the stores? And I'm like, that's how Nintendo works. They yeah. don't... They sell a product, and then they only make 50%, 25% of what the demand for it is. Yeah. Like, for whatever reason, they just decide they they don't want to sell people the stuff. <laughs> yeah. They are putting out a Mario Odyssey bundle, um... So you get the game, the Switch, and it comes with, um, it looks like a deeper red joy, uh, Joy-Con mm. instead of the neon red. Looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, there's those. They also uh, showed a trailer for Project Octopath Traveler, which um, I'm sure Jesse, <laughs> R.I.P. Jesse, if Jesse was here, um, he would he would fan, fan out with me. Oh my god. I thought that was you, Jordan, nope. but then I remember that you have a dog. Yep, that that was not me. <laughs> and a large dog at that. I am not like um, DMX. Uh, I don't just bark like in my <laughs> songs. Um, so yeah, they showed they showed some gameplay from that. Um, that's a uh, Square Enix game, 
it's uh, there's apparently a demo for it available right now, so I'm probably after we do this, I'm probably gonna go play it. I wish that I had time to play it beforehand, but I uh, Robin was sick, so I was visiting her last night and taking care of her, and uh, so I didn't get to really watch the direct when I wanted to. I had to watch it today in pieces at work. R.I.P. Robin. <laughs> um, R.I.P. Friends. Um, yeah, so Project Octopath, Tra- Octopath Traveler looks really interesting. So it's like that doesn't really roll off it, the tongue. I gotta say. No, I know. It's, I don't know if that's gonna be the full name, but right now it's called Project Octopath Traveler. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's like um, 16-bit graphics in like a 3D world. And with like, like realistic lighting and shading and stuff, it's really the hmm. art style is really cool. And it's like it's an RPG, so it's like a turn-based RPG. Uh, it reminds me sort of, of you know their other. Oh yeah, so I just watched the trailer again. It, it says in small text, "Working title" underneath Project Octopath <laughs> Path Traveler. Um, it reminds me of Bravely Default and stuff like that, where you're kind of running around an open world and then you get into a battle and it's like the side by side turn based fighting. So I'm excited to see how that is because I I love a good oh my god I'm burpy I love a good JRPG. Um, to so each their that. own. Yeah, I know you aren't a super huge fan. I don't remember the last time you talked to me about a, a JRPG. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not my forte. Yeah, they're long. They're long, and if yeah. they don't have a good story, they're not worth it. You know, the last one I think I played was on the and X- if the combat's the bad, if the combat's bad, then so he, I can bring this in. So I played, I got Monster Hunter Stories. Um, oh, that did uh, come out, huh? That's yeah, the, that came that's out. the I, Nintendo one, right? Though. That's not the yeah yeah it's it's very different than a normal Monster Hunter game. So okay. they made like a Monster Hunter RPG um, instead of like a action RPG. So you, you the point of the game is you're in this like really secluded town in like the Monster Hunter world, um, and instead of hunting, you befriend monsters. So what you do instead of going out hunting is you run around, you try to collect eggs from nests, and then you go and hatch the eggs and befriend the monster, and the monster fights alongside you. It's kind of like Pokemon in the sense that you can have like a handful of monsters alternate in battle with you, uh, and you fight other monsters and blah, blah, blah. Um, but the reason I don't like it and the reason I stopped playing it is because the combat is super duper shallow. So if like an RPG shallow. has super shallow combat, um, it's really hard for me to get into it. Um, when you say Hunter shallow, stories, just like not as fun, or it's not so shallow as in it's not deep. <laughs> oh, okay. So like, so like in um, in Bravely Default and Bravely Second, you have like each of your characters can be a different class, and with that class, they can wield different weapons, and um, with those um, classes come different abilities and spells and stuff. And then in Monster Hunter Stories. The combat more or less boils down to rock, paper, scissors. Oh. So you're fighting a monster or a set of monsters. And they can each they can each do a speed attack, a power attack, or a technical attack. And then you choose speed, technical, or power, and they so it's like speed is good against um power, power is good against technical, technical's good against speed. Or something along those lines. And so if you pick the right thing if you pick the speed right to their power attack you deal more damage okay. um and, and this uh, it but gets that's a little bit do. deeper than that yeah that it gets a little bit deeper than that but that's more or less it so obviously like grinding to level up your character and your pets and stuff gets really boring because it's not like there's in pokemon you have four different moves and you know the type, all the different types, and the type advantages, and and whatnot. It's it, it's pretty much just rock paper scissors throughout the whole game. So I played a handful of hours, and I was like, I can't, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> like the combat, which is a majority of the game, is so boring. Um, but the it sucks because the animation is very very um, lovable. It's cute. It's 
very anime. Characters like bounce around and they make funny faces and have very, very anime expressions and stuff sometimes. So it's fun in that sense, but the combat just was draining and I, I couldn't get into it. So I, I called it quits um, for <laughs> now. I don't know. Maybe I'll get back into it. Who um, knows? Just I, mean, I like might, Monster Hunter. I, I was going to say, like you, were you expecting it to hold you over until the other Monster Hunter game comes out? I wasn't looking for it to hold me over until next year, but I was looking (laughs) forward to beating it. (laughs) I was looking forward to playing it until I beat the story, Um, but I haven't even done that. So, now um, um, it's unfortunate. uh, Still, still on the Nintendo track. uh, Tell me, have we? um, Or I'm sorry, we (laughs) have. uh, Has the the Metroid for the 3DS come out, or is that no? That's the end of this month. Okay, that's in two weeks. Can't come out um, soon enough. Yep. And hopefully uh, redeem the last two Metroid games. <laughs> I mean, Lord. it's it's pretty much just <laughs> a remake of Metroid 2, so I can't see how they could fuck it up too hard. The remake for Metroid 1, zero, the one that, that came out with uh, on, the, on the Game Boy Advance, was uh, mm-hmm. Zero Mission, and that was awesome. And they added new yeah. content to it and whatnot, so I, yeah. I, I already remember from seeing the trailer that... Uh, they added some some swanky stuff with um, the way that the whatever some of the weapons work. You can burst weapon or something, and yeah. uh, I remember Samus was shooting like super rapid fire. So I imagine it'll be something along those lines of uh, fun fun new thing along with you know just a, a remake of the old the old leveling. Yeah, um, yeah, it'll be interesting. I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about that. Um, they also announced. I mean, this is probably the last thing I talk about, just because I want to move on. But they showed some more um, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon stuff, which did not make me get to the edge of my seat. It made me <laughs> sit right um, in your seat. Kind of, it kind of made me face palm into my hand. Oh, <laughs> what what was it's, it that um, they? Uh... It's so they didn't really they didn't an- announce anything per se. Anything I guess they sort of did. So they showed some more random gameplay footage, um, and they announced two new Ultra Beasts, which I think we've talked about this in the past, but Ultra Beasts are just Pokemon that they wanted to call something else. They register in your Pokedex, they fight Pokemon like Pokemon. Why they're called Ultra Beasts is beyond me. Um, Ultra! They're just like interdimensional beings, so... Whatever. There's a theory that unknown are ultra beasts, but they just didn't have a name for them. Um, but yeah, so they announced two new ones. They announced, um, what is it? Ultra Beast Assembly, which is just like the code name for it, and more or less, it's a pile of boxes with eyes. It's really fucking stupid. It kind of oh. looks like a castle tower. It's dumb. And then they announced <laughs> Ultra Beast Burst, which looks like a cross between. A clown and the DNA sequence thing from Jurassic Park, um, the little cartoon. Okay, <laughs> it looks fucking dumb, <laughs> as well. And they're not uh, running out of ideas for Pokemon, Derek. Don't you even think dumb? That. Like it's so <laughs> easy to just like look in nature and go, "Oh man, that's a cool animal. Let's make a Pokemon based on." Hey, that look, that trash. Let's make a Pokemon of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. So they announced those stupid fucking things. Um, and then they announced that... So they showed the cover a while ago, and it showed like these new forms of the two legendaries. And people were like, oh, it looks like uh, Necrozma, the third legendary, fused with them. And everyone was kind of like, yeah, that's probably the case. It looks exactly like that. Um, and there were some people that were like, no, that's too easy. That's like an easy way out. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly that there's another legendary that, like, captures the legendaries and, like, fuses to their body. Um, yep, so that's about it for new stuff with Pokemon. I'm not... I'm not super excited for the the For that games. one, at least, right? Yeah, I'm super excited for the Pokemon the, Switch game. The Switch one, yeah. That'll be the yeah, first Yeah, I'm excited console. to see what they do. Yeah, I just... This one, I'm probably going to buy it still, but I, I'm just like, ugh. 
there's, there's just, it doesn't seem like there's enough new stuff. It doesn't seem like they've They're kind of just anything. going through the motions of making another one. Like uh, Yeah, that's what it feels uh, like. Like, it's... What is it that this is supposed to be comparative to, right? Is, uh... What was it? Black and White 2? Black two? and White 2. Yeah. So they did Black and White, and then they did Black and White 2, which was, like, a story continuation. So people... We don't, we don't actually have confirmation that that's how this is going to play out. That's what everyone assumes is how it's going to play out. Mm. Um, I hope that's how it plays out. Um, because if it's just, like, a new version of Sun and Moon, I'm going to be rip shit. So I, didn't even I like mean, Sun it and just Moon. came out last year? Something was like that the year that, before? Yeah. I mean... Um, it hasn't been too, too long. But Nintendo's I didn't really like not Sun really Moon, one for so. doing that, though, right? That's that's more of a, a Capcom thing to, <laughs> to release it. A, a new game, basically, that's essentially every the same year. game every year. Oh. There's they'll, they'll slightly change, different characters or something. Yeah, they'll change some things, but I don't know. I think they're just trying to, like, monetize on the 3DS while they can. I think they needed something for the new 2DS because they think they're going to get an influx in sales. And they're like, oh, new Pokemon game is the only thing that's going to sell. <laughs> like, <laughs> do it. Um, I don't know. That's just my opinion. But uh, moving on, since it's been right, a right, right, of right. minutes, um, BlizzCon boo, 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 is coming ping up pong, in a couple pong. months. <laughs> <laughs> um, BlizzCon's coming up in a couple months, November 3rd and 4th, I think is what it is. Um, and the virtual yeah. tickets have just gone on sale, and they've announced uh, some of the And those haven't sold out! You know, because they're virtual. Don't sell out. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing with the um, BlizzCon tickets. Anytime I see that, they're like, "All right, this is gonna go up soon." All right, cool. They are sold out. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how Always. it is with like anything Nintendo too. Anyway, we won't, we won't talk about that again. <laughs> um, so yeah, they released the digital. They're the virtual ticket, and they showed off. The two mounts that you get for buying it. There's a cool. They look like um, they look like the transportation things for each uh, faction. Um, so they, yeah, they they boat. are the the blimp and uh, or they're they're like the war boats or war yeah, battleships like or whatever that we're flying. And the war boat flying boat thing. They're um, both from. Uh, they were you. I mean, they were used in a couple of. Uh, couple of things, but in particular, they were used in Wrath of the Lich King. They were the boats that were flo- flying around in Ice Crown. Yep. Um, and then they also were used in Cataclysm against Deathwing. And they were used getting to the Broken Isle. Oh, uh, yes. That... Well, wait. Uh, Pandaria? Question mark? They were probably used for Pandaria, too. <laughs> but anytime we, like, travel basically to a new continent. Even though I'm pretty sure in Cataclysm he broke them feel like he did or he broke one of them he broke the uh, the horde one because then yeah. we were on the alliance ship uh yeah. for that that one fight mm-hmm. um yeah so those are cool the cool thing about them is that w- you get both of them so you buy the ticket the ticket's like 40 bucks or whatever and um you get both both mounts and they're two-seaters they're flying two-seaters which is nice because there aren't too many of those in the game. Um, yeah, I th- the, three? there's like the sandstone Drake, and then there's there's the the mount one of the there, rockets or, or, that there's you the got rocket, from recruit a friend, and then there's the other recruit a friend one that is uh, you transform into a panther. That's right. So flying, there's flying there's three in game right now. So, so now there's fourth four. and fifth. Which out of you know like almost 300 400 mounts or whatever you know yeah that's it's nuts fairly rare to to have uh, yeah. to uh, to have more than one I, I would say yeah it's like it's pretty much the reason that i i bought the virtual ticket one because i want to actually watch watch the events this year because i never watch them um i always just like read about them and i think it'll be cool to actually watch them and uh Two, I really wanted the the mounts. <laughs> I thought they were cool. I actually, as a horde player, I'm jealous of the alliance one. I feel the yeah. I was, you know what? I was exactly gonna say that was that. You know, I kind of feel like the horde the horde one isn't as cool. I've always liked the yeah. the alliance one just for the uh, what is that called? Um, I don't know the the propellers or whatever. Just look yes, seem cooler. Yeah. 
So, like, the Alliance one had, like, the propellers on the back, and it's big. It, like, it fills up a good chunk of the screen. I jumped on my two, one of my Alliance characters and my Horde, my main Horde character, just to look at him real quick. And, um, the Alliance one is really big. Like, you can hardly see my character sitting in it. And then the Horde one is not that big. It's actually kind of <laughs> small, and my Orc looks, like, big on it. And, uh, it's almost like, it's almost like they took a rocket, like the rocket model, like you straddling over a rocket, and then like threw some chain, chains and a blimp on it. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> whereas the, uh, whereas the Alliance one is just like a really big boat, <laughs> and it looks cool. Um, the other items that, uh, you know, usually they, they do other kind of digital goodies, um, yeah. They have not said what, what they, they are, are yet, yet which uh, is interesting, just because they usually do. Um, yeah. And I, I just thought it was something just kind of weird. The t- I don't know, the timing for it just seemed kind of odd, I don't know. Early? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's just like... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's another two months away, but for them to not to not say uh, the other uh, do, 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 do. the other thing, me, the, the other the other DLC um, stuff or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe they don't, or maybe they want to do like a slow release to kind of like build the hype. I don't yeah. know. Um, they also announced what's in the goodie bags. Um, the goodie bags are something that if you go to the event, you get it. <laughs> Yeah, you have to ticket. actually go there to get that. Yeah. Um, you can buy it, though. So the other thing you get with the virtual ticket is $10 off the goodie bag. So you can buy the goodie bag and have it, like, shipped to your house. So, like, the regular goodie bag is 45 bucks, 35 if you have the virtual ticket. And you hmm. get a black BlizzCon backpack. Uh, you get a badge icon, um, icon pack, which contains, like, the new logos for the the blizzard games on battle.net the kind of like sleek looking new logos for all of them Hmm. for those are pins um and then you get a collectible pin so blizzard does like pin packs like blind pin packs you get a collectible pin from series four that's like a those are random ones though random yeah 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 and then you get one cupid deadly blind box from series three uh which doesn't exist yet which is kind of cool Ooh. and then you get an overwatch backpack hanger featuring um mercy in one of her um skins <laughs> and then the Fe- featuring epic mercy version... with only one res <laughs> <laughs> um the epic version is 70 dollars, 60 dollars for ticket holders and you get the backpack you get um one badge booster pack which contains three blind badges i don't know what that means i have a feeling it's like <laughs> more of the pins like the um the wow logo ones or the sorry the blizzard game logo ones um one additional blizzard collectible pin from series four so you get two of those and you get two of the cute but deadly figures um and you get a random uh hanger like the mercy thing Oh, and you also get a, tw- a BlizzCon 2017 Merchie pin. BlizzCon 2017. The Epic Upgrade, um, which is like, if you've ever shopped the Blizzard store, there was like a Murloc pushing a shopping cart. Uh. Um, and that's what the pin is. It's like the Murloc pushing the shopping cart. Um, and it says like Blizz- Blizzard or BlizzCon or something. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, <laughs> yes. So there's those. I don't know if I'm, I'm a sucker for pins. So like I kind of want it. And I'm a sucker for the Cupa Deadlies. So I kind of want it. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to spend that much money. Yeah. It, I mean, it'd be, it'd be cool as like, I have this stuff because I <laughs> paid for it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> exclusive. It's exclusive to like this event this year. Like, that's kind of cool to say. That's, like, the but, only um, reason why I would want the mount thing. Because they've never... I don't think, to my knowledge anyways, they've, they've always done a Murloc pet. That's their... That's been their thing for, yeah. Blizz, for Blizzcon... Uh, yeah, for Blizzcons. 
has yeah. been a themed Murloc pet, and yep. you know it's whether it, it's never yeah they've never done a mount before. I wish that they've done a mount. I probably um, that's a lie. I've, they did the the Blizzard Bear mount. It's like the bear with the Murloc on it. That was like the, the very first BlizzCon, I think. Yeah. Or like the very first like World of Warcraft BlizzCon. Yeah, I don't remember what it was for, but it's old. <laughs> um, the Murloc pets, though, I mean, they had one for Legion. They had one for Warlords. They had one for... Uh, I don't think they had one for Pandaria, but they did, they did like, a, a Diablo-themed Murloc. They did... Because uh, that's, th- that's the other thing they've done with the Murlocs, is they've, they've like, um, you know, boosted their, their other games that are coming out. So, like, when StarCraft II was was being released, they did a, uh, uh, what is that called? A mari- a space marine murloc. Um, mm-hmm. like, just murloc, 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 murloc. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I don't think they've, besides the blizzard mount, the, the bear mount, you're right. Um, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen them do a mount before. And yeah, so that is, it's, cool. it's interesting. And they're I, unique enough. I'm not really they're seeing really a lot unique. of them flying around too, but I mean, honestly, I think that's just from the price point I, just like from my from my standpoint, I see it as thirty five dollars for just a mount. I don't know about that. The rest of the mounts yeah. in the mount store are twenty five, but of course, then you know you got to figure. You you said it yourself. You know, there's there's two mounts that you're getting. Yep. You know, Horde and Alliance, and then in addition, uh, it is a two seater mount. Yep. So, you know, you're, you're getting a little bit more, uh, a, little a little bit more value. Your buck. Yeah. Apparently. I'm just noticing this on... I'm looking at the uh, GIF they play on the uh, on the launcher. It looks like there's a flag coming off... I don't see it on the Alliance one, but it's definitely coming off the blimp of the Horde one that says BlizzCon on it. Oh. Which is kind of cool. Well, that's that's the one thing that they have on the, uh, the... You know what? Hold on. I think I can actually look it up real quick. The bear. I think it's the Blizzard bear? Yeah, I think it's... Called yeah, it's, it's the big Blizzard bear. And yeah, it just says it was a promotion from BlizzCon, and it has uh, Mer- the Murky that's riding on the bear. So you, when you ride the bear, you also are riding with a Murloc, yeah. and um, he has a little BlizzCon flag. Yeah. Um, so that's cool. Um, but the, the main reason I wanted to bring up BlizzCon is because I wanted to talk about our wants, our oh word, our our aspirations. Uh, yeah, like not our, not really our predictions, I guess. I feel like I'm it's a little too soon for that cuz also I'm so, yeah. we can just speculate like, you know, StarCraft 3 yeah. confirmed, you know, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um so I don't know if you want st- to if you want to like start with I don't know. I don't I don't know. Heroes of with. the Storm? Sure, you give us what you hope to here about Blizzard uh, for a uh, beep, 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 for Heroes of the Storm. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to announce now that they've gotten uh, the most recent hero that they put into the game was uh, KT Kalthazad, which uh, hashtag KT has always been Kalthazad, not not Kalthas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was that was a big thing for for a while on the internet was people saying uh, KT is already in the game Kalthazad. Kalthas. And I was like, yeah. no, KT has always been Kalthazad. That's KT. You yeah. know, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> shut up. Um, but I predict they will finally maybe put in other game characters. And by other game characters, I assume they will tie it in with a new game that's going to... I predict the next Overwatch character that they put in... Drum roll. Also, I'm thinking. <laughs> I predict they might put in May. I could see them putting in May or Torbjorn. Oh. May would be a cool um, hero. Granted, character, there's already a lot of ice characters or ice type characters, characters that use ice Doomfist? in some way. Yeah, Doomfist too. But you know, they're they're. I think they're definitely going for the popular characters first. You know, Genji, yeah. Lucio, um, Diva. Yeah. Zarya, um, but Doomfist would be like. One, I mean, Doomfist is popular no, in the sense that people have wanted it since the game came out. That's true. So. That's true. Um, and then maybe they have a skin that has the voiceover of uh, 
oh god, what's his name? Uh, uh, he it was he was the one that everyone thought was gonna voice Doomfist. Oh, oh, gosh, um, what's his name? Terry Crews. Terry Crews, yes. So that would be funny if they did that, because they they do that with uh with a lot of the Heroes of the Storm or um, yeah with the Heroes of the Storm skins is that uh, if they're like special ones, they have them uh, have uh, special altered voices or whatever. Alter, altered uh, uh, voice dubs or whatever. But yeah, so I predict that they'll put in they'll put in another Overwatch character, or they'll at least an- announce. It's possible they might just tease, because that's the one thing that they've been doing with Heroes of the Storm for the longest time, is they basically don't actually say what characters are coming. They might tease it like the week before they announce a character that's going to be coming up, but yeah. uh, or like before it goes on to PTR, but um, maybe they'll actually announce like a big character, like of of World of Warcraft characters that that aren't in. Uh, there's already a dragon, but I could see them putting in Deathwing somehow, or at least making a map, oh, yeah. uh, based around him. That would be kind of neat. Maybe that would be kind of cool. Um. B-b-b-b- Diablo characters, you know, they have one of each class now, uh, even from uh, Diablo two. So I don't really see them doing any of the any of them, but I I could see them doing possibly another one of the demon lords. You know, they could put in like Belial, that would be kind of neat. They could put mm-hmm. in um, uh, one of the angels, one of the other archangels. Um, they have a lot. They have Ariel. They have Tyriel. Maybe they put in. Uh, God, what's his name? He's the uh, Archangel of Wrath. I don't remember his name. Someone correct me in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> but um. would be interesting for sure if they were to uh, to make some new characters. Um, mm-hmm. And by new characters, I may I mean like. Uh, I, I guess no. Wait, maybe that would be kind of dumb. Actually, that would be kind of dumb if they were to just put make just straight up make new characters. That's the thing with uh, that we also got to figure is November. I can assume that the uh, World of Warcraft exp- or the expansion right now, Legion, um, the mm-hmm. raid will have been out probably for about a month because I think it's. Yeah. Next week, th- this week was the very last week of the new quests for Argus. Correct. Um, I don't, I don't see them putting out the raid next week, but in like maybe another week or two, I could yeah. see them at least teasing about it. I, I, f- I don't remember if I, I saw it on the PTR it at the start of October. Yeah, and so, um, then you know weeks. that'd be like about a month, three more weeks, uh, for BlizzCon uh, until BlizzCon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and then so then, of course, like, they could... So I hear you're bored with the raid already. How about a new expansion? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's like, we, it um. just came out. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone um. would complain about getting content fast, though. Which, I'll be honest, no. I don't really think there's been a content drought. I mean, people can argue the uh, world quests, you know, just you know, being dailies, essentially, and like trying to soak up time. Mm-hmm. But, uh... I don't know, it's... It, it's different. I think I think it's more fun, the uh, reward system for it. I just got another Legendary today. Uh, so, I, I'm, I'm happy with with the way that they, they wait, did... Wait, uh, get, sorry. I got a text. I got um, another... I got a Legendary in my Paladin. I got uh, oh, cool. the, the Ring Legendary, which I, I really wanted. Ooh, that's a good one. It's It gives a talent, so that's, that's kind of yeah. neat. Um, but... Hearthstone, I don't see them really talking. Uh, maybe some kind of tournament they have coming up. Uh, I don't yeah. see them. I don't see them doing another expansion right away. I, I they that that came out maybe maybe a month and a half ago or something. You know, I, I don't mm-hmm. see them talking about that in another in another two months from now. Just saying, all right, expansion. Yeah. Um, yeah, that'd be hard. But you never know. It's possible maybe they'll they'll talk about reworking some cards or something. Because uh, yeah. right now, in the meta of the game, they actually just recently did uh, uh, a nerf 
pre pretty big nerf to a warrior card that was for a while can considered like one of the one of the most it's one of the most valuable weapon cards to play in the game and they they nerfed it they made it cost one more mana pretty oh, much really? destroying its value <laughs> wow um I don't really have any StarCraft uh, no. knowledge as it is currently, but I'm, I mean, I yeah. know I know all the game story and whatnot. No. I the way that they ended it, I don't really see them doing a StarCraft three. But at the yeah. same time, StarCraft two Legacy of the Void came out two years ago, two and a half it's years ago. Been a while, yeah. Um, so. I mean, get on that. <laughs> they, I, I, I see them. I, I see them doing another StarCraft before they do. Excuse me, before they do another WarCraft. Yeah. Um, but it very well could be that they do, uh, a WarCraft. I don't know. That'd be one hell of a uh, a mix up there, or a, yeah, a toss up, would, you know, for sure. No, no one would really see that coming. I don't think, except for the people like I me that that you know joke about it, saying, "Oh yeah, there, there's a new, uh, there's a new one coming out. It's for Warcraft, yeah, RTS." <laughs> um, I so I see, I see them announcing. Um, I, it's tough. They talked about the Queen in Overwatch so much in a recent video um, talking oh, about Junkertown. Right. It's like, it's going to be a character. Like, I know it's going to be a character. I could see them like announce. Everyone... I feel like it's been long enough from Doomfist that they would at least announce another character at BlizzCon. But you think they would save it all the way for two more months, all the way to... Um... Oh, that's right. You said, what was it, every six months? Is, uh... Yeah, something like that. Hmm. So I mean, they tough. could do it. Yeah. They, they certainly they certainly could maybe tease it before BlizzCon, but then like actually yeah. do it and then actually at BlizzCon it. or actually BlizzCon, announce yeah. it. Yeah. So I see a new character and new maps and hopefully a new mode. I'm hoping for some sort of new mode. What type of mode Overwatch. would you look for or want in Overwatch that I... isn't? I mean, there's there's a good, there's a good chunk of different modes now. You know, when yeah. the game first dropped, it was pretty much team deathmatch. Yeah. And payload. And, and payload, yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I hope for a little bit of a change. I'd, I'd like to see um, maybe some sort of, like, story-driven um, mode that kind of stays in the game. Like a story-driven multiplayer mode. A single-player um, mode, you could say. Or a single-player mode. With co-op? Yeah. I mean, that would be really cool if they did an arcade mode, like, uh, I'm thinking, like, Street Fighter style, where, like, I mean, this would be kind of weird because it's a first-person shooter, but, um, you know, you choose a character, and then you have to fight, you know, five characters, like, one-to-one, -one, like, uh, AI, and then mm -hmm. once you beat them, then you face a boss, and then you get some kind of story, a uh, little cinematic yeah. or something for each character. Yeah, I don't know how much that. Would, I was thinking more along the lines of like the uprising, um, ah. story-driven stuff where you're fighting um, a bunch of AI. Even if it was just like something that was like uh, the Omnic Crisis, like replaying the Omnic Crisis. It's just something different, Word. just to uh, something that you can go into and like not have to stress about the PvP aspect of it, because it's. You know, you go into a PvP match and there's always, like, players that it seems to be, like, way better than you. And it gets stressful <laughs> sometimes. So, it's yep. it was nice in the PvE modes where you're just like, okay, I know we're going to win if we don't do, like, the crazy hard difficulty. So, let's just, like, go in, blow up some robots, have some fun, like, maybe meet some people. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm hoping they do something like that. Um... And definitely, I think they're going to release a new... Or not release, but talk about a new character and probably some new maps. If not more. Because um, Overwatch is just so big right now. Oh, yeah. I, I, they can't, like, ignore it. O Overwatch and Hearthstone be, are both huge yeah. right now with Blizzard. Yeah, they're big money makers. Um, and then WoW, yeah, like you said, I think they're going to announce the new expansion. I have a feeling it's going to be Void-related. 
as much as uh, if I you've played through McCree, that, that's the one thing I, I was talking with uh, uh, my buddy Sean from work, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, both of us agree. You know, it felt very tacked on. Yeah. Um, I mean, we knew we knew about it, uh, and especially if, if you follow the lore, you know about like, you know, the, the end game like super boss, especially after they retconned how the uh, Titans. You know how they went about and whatnot. The mm-hmm. the end game uh, enemy, uh, the ultimate enemy is not Sargeras; it's the Void Lords. Yeah. And um, the uh, the thing that they kind of tacked on to the to the very end here uh, in McCree was, oh yeah, by the way, uh, you know, uh, Void Lords, Void, yeah, that's here, and uh, <laughs> it's it just something that. You know, it is the Legion homeworld, and they just kind of their 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 whole quote unquote purpose was to fight against, um, to fight against the, the void. No, oh no, no, the the Legion's quote unquote purpose was to fight against the void. You know, to oh, destroy yeah, yeah. all destroy all life in order to, um, uh, fight against the void. And then they have the void yeah. like literally on their home planet. Like, uh, what? Like, well, you, I think what are you guys doing? <laughs> I think the Void is taking advantage of the fact that um, we're there as well. So the Legion's kind of fighting like a double, like, double-sided double fight. That's true, that's true. Um, but the thing that I'm interested about is everyone was saying they think um, Sylvanas was going to be like the next enemy, big enemy. They thought that she was going to become corrupt. But I'm... Um, Based on the story mode in Macquarie Mac- or Mac- yeah. or however they say <laughs> Macquarie, it, yeah. um, <laughs> Macadamia nut. It seems it seems like it's gonna be Sylvanas' sister, um, uh, whatever her name is. I still think maybe, but I don't know. Could, but maybe, well, cause like, but maybe in, not. In the, but maybe in the quests, she was like talking with that void guy, and she was like. I didn't trust. Well, I uh, didn't trust him at all. Period. No, I, I know. That's why I'm saying I think that she's going to be corrupt by the void, and she's going to be like this big bad enemy that we have to fight. Well, and then it'll be like a, it'll be like a, a moment for Sylvanas to kind of like show some emotion because you know it's her sister. It's still so. very possible for uh, it to be Sylvanas slash Jaina slash both of them. <laughs> Because the one, th- the, the one, I I know some information that you don't uh, know because I like to delve into oh, PTR horror. stuff, and there's stuff from the raid that will be revealed, and then you'll say, oh, but wait a minute, um, and then ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. uh, yeah, so that's what are... that's what I think BlizzCon is gonna end up being is yeah, a lot of Overwatch focus. Uh, maybe some Heroes of the Storm goodness stuff. Mm, I New don't. Wow, expansion. Yeah, may, uh, possible uh, another expansion. You know what that what that will entail, and then Diablo three. What do they? Diablo think? four, maybe. Maybe uh, it's been a while, but they just said, they just did the Necromancer, ton. but maybe that's just to like. Yeah, but that was just like a DLC pack, more or less. I mean, yeah. they added a a new. That wasn't like how they did um when they added the Crusader. Where they also added story to it. They when they did the Necromancer, they like just did the Necromancer. So kind of kind of poopy with that. I, I, I don't know. They kind of dropped the ball. I don't know they exactly added something, didn't they? I thought they added a little bit of story for the Necromancer specifically. Maybe they added yeah. Maybe they added story for him, but I don't think they added yeah. like an entire tra- like they didn't add like it, it wasn't an expansion. Uh, or, or yeah, I guess. Reaper of Souls could be considered an expansion. I mean, not yeah. really, but kind of. It added one more chapter. <laughs> yeah. Um, versus um, more, more of a uh, more of a patch than a yeah. It was a bit. It was a big expansion. patch, and this this pat that the Necromancer patch was not a big patch. Yeah. And then, of course, yeah. like we said with the Starcraft thing. Uh, They'll do something. Maybe something. Cool. Well, that's... I guess we just have to wait. <laughs> wait and find out. 
Um, God damn, that's all I that's all I had to talk about. So, I guess that's the uh, that's the end of this episode, everyone. Uh, oh, uh, uh, any more Destiny Two? You uh, play I that anymore? Played a couple hours of it, and then the um, the one thing I think it happened yesterday, I believe. I was talking with Nick about it for a bit. Was um, the new uh, what is that called? Uh, raid. Yeah, the new raid just popped up. I think. And so yeah, Nick's, I saw someone beat it already. Nick's already uh, all geared for it and whatnot, though. I was like, wow, are, are you even geared? He's like, yeah, I'm already geared for it. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <Cool. laughs> I've played, like, two hours of it. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, like, I, it's so hard because, like, I really want to play WoW right now. Like, that's what I've been craving. Yeah, I mean, so. the whole this whole new, new expansion and whatnot. So, pretty, yeah. pretty neat. Yep. Cool. Well, that's the end. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Comment uh, what you were looking forward to. I kind of forgot we talked about Nintendo. Comment uh, what some the... Nintendo things you're excited about and some BlizzCon stuff that you're looking forward to or, or hoping for. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye-bye.